Now what I'd like to do is direct our attention to the board, which is the, really the main topic. And uh, Brad's gonna help us. And I, and I asked him this question I, and I feel like I challenged him because I was like, you know, what are your goals for, for FinCon? What are you looking to get out of this? And I think the truth of the matter is that most, most of us have not been to an in-person live event, business, networking, workshop, seminar in probably more than a year. Uh, for most people have not been to a major event since, you know, COVID, since uh, March 2020, when things, you know, initially shut down. So now that we're in 2021, we're about to close out the year, we're starting to see some uh, more events start popping up. And we're kind of returning to some, you know, bit of a, a pre COVID environment, let's say, right. So I recently just attended the vault conference um, that was hosted by uh, Patrick bet David, who runs a YouTube channel called Valuetainment. And he also has a, a podcast called the Patrick Bet David podcast. You guys can check that out. He's got over 3 million subscribers. <laughs> you know, he, that was awesome. Roughly a thousand people showed up at that event. And the tactics that I used to increase my networking skills, my social skills, you know, have been able to uh, put me in a position to collaborate with people, to do business, to increase sales, increase revenue, and just build strong relationships long-term. And I wanna take that same uh, way of thinking and apply it to FinCon. FinCon is actually gonna be a, uh, not mistaken, a four-day event. And I'm flying in the day before, I'm leaving the day after. So I have a nice window uh, to network with people, possibly even on the plane ride there, at the airport, at the hotel, before the event starts, after the event. So we're gonna discuss a lot of different strategies. And I think this is very helpful, even if you're someone watching, you're not a business owner, right? But you aspire to be, or you are a, you know, a, a C-suite executive, you have a high role in, your, in the company that you work for, it's likely that you're, you're probably gonna attend some kind of workshop, some kind of seminar, and having these networking skills, this sort of, um, you know, uh, what is it, knee to knee, you know, interaction, mm -hmm. like what Brad was saying earlier, you know, we're, we're in a very online social media space where a lot of money is being made on the internet, but still today in the 21st century, there's nothing like that, that elbow to elbow, handshake, you know, high fives, hugs, kisses, connection, uh, in person, you can never get rid of that because we're social beings. And so having those skills uh, really help us perform online and offline. So let's dive right into it. Um, and I broke it down into three different sections that I believe are, are critical whenever you attend an event. Three main things we, we want to have at the, at the forefront, which is to know your numbers, right? We always got to know our numbers. As a financial coach, Brad, I'm sure could agree with this. We always got to know mm -hmm. our numbers in when we're going on vacation, we're going to a business event, we're starting a business, we're entering a business, we're exiting a business, we're investing in something. Always got to know your numbers, right? So that never goes away. The second main topic is money making, right? Money making strategies. How do I make money going to FinCon? Is that a possibility? How does that, how can I ethically, authentically do that, right? Make money while at the event, before the event, after the event, Right? How do I make that happen? And then the third main component is networking, right? Networking tips. So I've I've laid out a couple and then I'm gonna let Brad chime in, see if there's something that I might have missed. And then those of you that are watching, um, comment your thoughts as well. If you're someone that has attended events or you know, you're or you're in sales and marketing and networking and you you've got these skills built up, you comment and um, be more than happy to add them to the board. So starting with the money stuff. Um, you guys already know that know me, but whenever I start a video for the most part, most of my videos, I always look at the four major numbers, right? Income, expenses, debt, and cash flow. Where are we at with that? We got to know what's coming in each month, what's coming out. Do we have any liabilities, right? Are you debt free? Cool. That's not even a worry. That free cash flow. What's that free cash flow and how much are we willing to allocate to fund something like a four day conference, right? We have to think about travel, hotel food um we got to think you know transportation the price of the ticket itself right we got to think about the price of the ticket itself and then any other miscellaneous maybe you buy some gear while you're there some merchandise are you going to an event where things are going to be sold 
right? Gotta have, you know, money up for that as well. And, you know, so that, that can rack up quite a bit. So we wanna make sure we're, you know, going in with this awareness and not get blindsided. I've, I've noticed that people go to events sometimes and they get blindsided, they, they end up at a pitch fest and they didn't even know, right? And they end up getting sold and they go into debt to either try to make money, start a business, and that usually doesn't end well most of the time. So we gotta know your numbers, right? Calculate the cost, gotta have a budget. We need to set calculated goals, right? And we need to treat this like an investment, right? What is the return from me attending this event, flying out to Texas, right? I'm in Florida, so I'm flying all the way out to Texas. What am I getting out of going to this event, FinCon 2021? I need to know that in advance. I can't just, you know, guess. Like, oh, I hope this, I hope that. I need to set the intention. So with that being said, Brad, any any thoughts so far on the money side of it, the cost, the budgeting, anything that I might have missed or anything that comes to mind that you'd like to add? And I also want to say hello to Craig and Christina who are uh, with me on Clubhouse. Like I said, guys, if you're watching live on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, you're more than welcome. Come on Clubhouse, raise your hand. You can join the conversation on you know, tips to prepare for success around uh, attending a business event. So with that being said, Brad, anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I well, I think the first thing I wanna say is that I think this is an incredibly well-organized sort of uh, mental map of how to map out for, you know, for one of these events. Um, you know, depending on where, you know, the, the attendees are with their financial lives, with, you know, the, any kind of business that they've started, you know, one of the things that I think we've built so much margin into both our personal budget and our business budget that even though I, um, you know, I'm probably only going to spend about a thousand dollars out of pocket, including the ticket, including the airline, including the food, uh, because I'm using points, you know, airline wow. miles, my, my ticket from, you know, my round trip ticket from Atlanta to Austin cost me $11 and 30 cents, <laughs> <What? laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, because I'm using points, you know, and, and so that's a, that's a strategy. And, and there again, you know, that would be a, a big hand smack from the Dave Ramsey people. But, um, you know, my wife and I have used, we have utilized these, you know, assets, you know, points and miles, you know, over the past decade, my wife is from Columbia, South America, and we've literally saved tens of thousands of dollars on travel, you know, by using these. So I think that you're absolutely correct. Knowing your income, knowing your expenses, debt, cash flow, um, your numbers uh, in terms of the, uh, you know, how many people you want to meet, you know, just kind of having an idea of some of those things. But I think that you'll get to, you know, as you, wherever you are in the process, as you're sort of organizing and optimizing your finances, getting things on a budget, expense tracking, you're going to have a better sense of your numbers. If you're in your numbers every day, you're going to be looking at all of those things. Um, and so for this, I, you know, I was really chomping at the bit to go last year, which is when, you know, we bought our tickets, but they, you know, unfortunately had to cancel uh, FinCon for uh, 2020 because of COVID. And so I've been chomping at the bit to go to this thing. And so now that, you know, that, that was a sunk cost from last year that just carried over this year. And so the biggest, the other biggest expense was the hotel. And I just found one of the, uh, a, a smaller hotel, a very nice hotel in sort of like the ancillary area to the, the FinCon area. It's a few blocks walk. And I think I'm spending maybe somewhere between six and $700 for the five nights that I'm going to be staying there. So I think it's just, uh, it's those, it's that brain training that we're going through as we're building our personal finance, you know, personal finance vocabulary and all these habits. Um, but I agree with all these points, you know, know, knowing your numbers, calculating those costs, which you're already doing a lot of this stuff inherently if you're you know, on a budget and tracking your expenses. Um, and it is it is an investment. And I think that one of the things that you said, Denzel, that really resonates with me is the the fact that we get to get together in person. Uh, we're all doing these Zoom meetings, you know, all day long, day in, day out. Um, I got to meet with some some friends of mine um, in, uh, at the, their in their local business office in their conference room, you know, this week, and just meeting face to face was just such a, a such a treat, you know, for us. And there's such a different level of connection. So I so while I'm super, 
you know, nerdy and geeky about the the numbers and knowing and tracking the numbers. Um, I Denzel and I were talking about this in the pre the pre show that I am I'm trying to I tend to put a lot of pressure on myself because I am numbers oriented about all right how many people do I want to meet with how many collaborations do I want to have and all that kind of stuff and and certainly I want to do as many of those as possible but I think that because for me this is my first FinCon I think that I've really just had to kind of step back and relax a little bit and say, you know, I'm there to learn and to meet people. And I think there was a, there was something that you had on the the whiteboard whiteboard about just something along the along along the lines of not selling, but just going to share and going to you know network and be you know one of the seven, Stephen Covey's seven habits of highly effective people is seek first to understand and then to be understood. You know, so going there to meet people. And I think that, you know, Denzel, you do such a great job of that, you know, reaching out, you know, to me on my platform. I mean, you have a larger platform than I do, you know, so there's, uh, you know, potentially much more in this for me than it is for you. But that just goes to show the way that you think in an abundance mentality is that, you know, we can all sort of learn from each other. So, yeah, I think that, you know, looking at that, that those lists of things that you have on the board there, um, I think that that's just a really great, you know, mental mental map of how to think about doing an event like this.